So this is a feature we've gotten a few requests for over the past year and we are really excited that it is now a reality. For all you Fractal XFX3 and FM3 users, this one's for you. Fractal audio integration is now available on your Morningstar controller on the MC6 and MC8. We showed this feature briefly at the end of our firmware 3.9 video, but today we are going to show you exactly how it works and how to set it up. Morningstar controllers have always been able to control Fractal audio devices, but this new feature will allow your controller to automatically pull data from the XFX3 and FM3. This means that your Fractal preset and C names will automatically be displayed on your Morningstar controller screen without you needing to name each switch manually, and you will be able to engage your desired Fractal presets and scenes using the corresponding switches on your Morningstar controller. To set this up, you will first need to connect your Morningstar controller's MIDI out port to your XFX3 or FM3's MIDI in port, and also connect your Fractal device's MIDI out port to the MIDI in port of your Morningstar controller. This way, both devices will be able to communicate with each other. Make sure that MIDI through is disabled on your Morningstar controller to eliminate the possibility of a MIDI loop, which will cause your devices to freeze. With that, you're all set to start using Fractal audio integration with your Morningstar controller. You can program any switch on your Morningstar controller to enter integration mode. For this example, let's use switch D on the MC8. Let's name the switch XFX3. Let's choose a press action and select the Fractal Audio Integration message type from the drop-down list. You'll see a few options appear. The first allows you to choose which Fractal device you want to integrate with. At this moment, you can choose to integrate with the XFX3 or FM3. The second field lets you select what type of integration you want. There are three options to choose from. Let's take you through each of them. The first is Preset Select. This will display your Fractal preset names on your controller screen and engage them when you press each corresponding switch. Scene Select will display the scene names of your currently selected Fractal preset on your controller screen. Scene 1 will be displayed on switch A, Scene 2 on switch B, and so on. Each scene will be engaged when you press the corresponding switch. And lastly, we have Preset plus Scene Select which will first display your Fractal preset names on your controller screen. And when you press a switch, the Fractal preset will be engaged and the scenes from that particular preset will be displayed on your controller screen. You can then choose which scene you want to engage from that preset. To exit integration mode, simply press on the exit switch and you'll be taken back to the bank you were in on your Morningstar controller. You can choose which Fractal preset number you want to start from. For this example, preset 6 because we have set up our scenes from preset 6 onwards. So in this case, the MC8 will display the name of preset number 6 on switch A with the subsequent preset names displayed on the following switches. And of course, make sure you choose the MIDI channel that your Fractal device is set to. You'll be able to display 8 different presets and 7 different scenes on the MC8 and on the MC6, you can display 6 different presets and 5 different scenes. Remember to give this video the good old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, enjoy the music and I'll catch you again in the next one. Peace.